Hello everybody and welcome to Sunglass Journey. This is my in-depth video on sunglass mirrors and this has been kind of a long time in the making trying to get this video up and put it all together um, but this is like a kind of a long-form take um, talking specifically about how sunglass mirrors affect the optics of a sunglass. I'm going to roll out a shorter video for those that might have a shorter attention span or just really um, don't want to sit through 10 minutes of me um, talking about this that will just kind of cut to the chase. But this one is going to go into, um, you know, specifically how mirrors affect the optics of sunglasses. I think in the industry there's a focus on the mirror as like a like a fashion piece. So it's, um, you know, if you go into a website and you sort glasses by color, it's going to um, show you the mirror as the color of the lens. Um, but it really doesn't tell you what the optics of the lens is like. It's like kind of a superficial take, um, you know, if you're really just trying to pick something that you want to, to look cool, then that's fine. But um, there's actually a lot of really exciting things that, that mirrors do. They really affect the uh, the optics of the sunglasses quite a bit. And so I think it's um, if you're kind of into that and you want sunglasses to work well for their intended purpose of reducing light, it's good to know how those mirrors are going to affect what you see. This video is just going to go into how the uh, how the mirror functions optically. And I'm going to do another video that goes more into um, more like use cases. And I'm going to talk about a mirror as a specific ingredient that goes into a lens recipe and, um, and how it's going to affect the performance of that lens and how you might better choose lenses um, knowing what the mirror is and how that's going to, going to affect that lens. So keep an eye out for some, some later videos that get a little bit more hands-on. Before I explain how a mirror works, I want to first go over how a basic lens works because the mirror is going to build on top of that. So this is a, a clear lens like you'd have in a pair of untinted glasses. It's going to pass white light and it's going to look basically the same on the other side of the lens. If I tint the lens to a brown, which is really like, kind of like a dark red, I'm going to get brown light. I'm going to see brown light on the other side of this lens. And if I switch the light so it's coming from the other side of the lens, I get the same effect. It's going to pass brown light through the lens. Now another way to look at this is to break the light into the triadic components, so red, green, and blue. And so shining those three different light colors through clear lens, you get the same levels of those three colors. If I change the lens to a brown, which again is like a red-based lens, just, just a little darker, the lens is going to absorb the green light and blue light into the lens material and dissipate it in the form of heat. And the result is that there's going to be reduction in those two colors. So we'll see less of the green and less of the blue, and we'll see more of the red. So here's another way to look at the same thing that I just described. So this is the triadic color wheel. And so what that means is that you're basically splitting white light up into three different colors that are evenly spaced around the, the color circle here. So it's like red, blue, and green. And so if my tinted lens is red or brown, and brown is basically just a like a dark red, the two complementing colors are blue and green. So that red lens is going to let more red light pass and it's going to absorb the blue and the green light. So this is a brown lens, this is a Varnay non-polarized brown. And so no matter which way I look through it, basically looks the same. There's a little bit of anti-reflective coating on the inside, so there's some purple, but passes brown light pretty much the same way through both sides of the lens. <clears throat> so if I had this on, it would look basically like a brown lens because you're going to see the reflection that's coming back off my face coming through the lens, and so this will read as a, as a brown lens from the front. Now that we talked about how a basic clear lens works, let's put a mirror on top of that and talk about how that interacts with the, with the clear lens. So here again, I've got a lens, that kind of curved thing, and I've got light coming from the, the right and passing through to the left. I put a, let's say this is like a plain silver or gray mirror that I put it on here. Um, what's going to happen is that some of the light is going to reflect back on the side that the mirror is, is coming from. And then because some of that light is reflecting away, it's going to reduce the light that's passing through the lens. Because say like, let's just say for the sake of this description that half of the light is getting reflected 
back away and then another half is going through. Um, but if I switch the direction of the light, it's just going to pass through. It's not going to reflect from the left. It'll pass through un uninterrupted from the right. And so really the way that that works is as long as it's brighter on the side where the mirror is, then um, it's going to reflect light away and you're not going to be able to see what's on the other side of that that mirror. So this is really the same way that um, like a police interrogation room or the one-way glass and at like a supermarket works so that um, as long as it's darker in the room where the um, people don't want to be seen then um, the light reflecting back away from the outside face where the where the mirror is is going to be brighter than any light that's that's passing through and it's really going to basically um, you're not going to see any of that light that's coming through. So it's generally um, totally no visibility from the mirrored side, um, but a mostly unaffected view from um, from the side where there isn't mirror. But there is some. There is a definitely a change in intensity, like I showed in the last slide. And then there's also some uh, some effects on color, which I'll talk about as well. Now, where it starts to get interesting is when we look at colored mirrors. So let's take same example with the clear lens and we've got the triadic colors passing through the lens and then this time instead of a gray mirror let's add a red mirror and then what happens is the red mirror is going to reflect away the red light and that's going to reduce the red component that's coming through to the left so you're getting mostly the, the green and the blue that's passing through this lens so here's the triadic colors that we just looked at so we've got the red mirror and it's reflecting away blue and green um, this is just breaking it up into three colors. Or if you look at the same example using the complementary colors, put the red mirror on, reflects away red light, and then what I get is the opposite color from red. So like a teal blue is what ends up passing through the mirror. So that's combining the triadic blue and green into sort of like a teal color. From the outside of the red mirror you're going to see that red light reflecting out but from inside the mirror, you're going to get the opposite color from red. So this kind of like teal blue color is what um, is the way that mirror is going to shift the light as you see it through the lens. So let's look at this in a real world example. So this is probably about the best example I could think of of um, being able to compare lenses that have exactly the same ba base tint with different mirrors on them. So these are the um, all Maui Jim, and they're all the gray lens with. Um, different mirrors on them. So the one on the left has got a subtle gray silver mirror and then we've got a blue mirror and then we've got a green mirror. And here are the same three sunglasses but as we see it through the lens. So sure enough the one on the left which is the gray silver mirror is kind of gray just straight up gray and then the one in the middle is the blue mirror and we're seeing kind of a tan color and then the green mirror we're seeing this kind of crazy purpley pink color so let's see how this corresponds to the color wheel. So the Maui Jim Blue Hawaii mirror. So if I pull this over here, get it pretty close to the color of the mirror. The complementary color is this kind of like orangey yellow. So indeed, just like we saw through the lens, what I'm getting is a boost of the opposite color from the mirror color. And then for their green mirror, so if I pull this over here to the green, sure enough, the opposite dot is kind of a purple. So with that green mirror, what I'm actually seeing through the lens is the opposite color, which is that purple color. So to summarize how we're going to figure out what a mirror is going to do to the, ex the experience that you get when you're looking through the lens, we're going to pull up a color wheel like this, and this one is from canva.com. Um, but you could even look at one that's just like a fixed, um, if you just Google the color wheel and you get just a fixed thing like this, that'll work too. But this is kind of cool because it, um, it's a little more interactive. And so the gist of it is that if we move this dot around, so the big dot, and that corresponds to this little guy down here, and I match that to the mirror on my sunglass, this complementary color over here, which is the one on the right, or this where the small dot is, is the effect that you're going to get through the lens. So it's going to shift the light to this complementary color. Now it's never going to be quite that bright or intense. 
Now, as soon as you put a mirror over some kind of a colored tinted lens, that's when things really get interesting. And I'm not going to cover that in this video. That's going to be the subject of, of another video. And um, there's a lot of other little interesting things that happen with mirrors um, that I want to go over as well. So that'll be another video to look out for, which is going to be looking at some real life examples or some recipes um, that you can do this way. And this is where I think, um, you know, if this video that I did is just the theory, um, the next one is a little more exciting because it's, um, it's actually some of the um, some of the effects you can you can get by um, by combining some of these different things together. So keep an eye out for that video and um, please subscribe to my channel and uh, give me the thumbs up if you found this video helpful.